In this video, we're gonna be talking engine detailing and specifically super clean aerosol can degreaser on engines. Now, let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you guys are here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So right now I am doing an engine detail on an Infiniti G37. It is an awesome car and it is probably even more awesome under the hood. It's a V6, really awesome machine. But really what I want to do in this video is show you guys how effective the super clean degreaser aerosol can spray is on surfaces like engines because it is absolutely amazing to me and at the same time I'd like to give you guys some professional tips as far as tools to use, brushes, products, all that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and check under this hood. Now this hood looks pretty standard, just like most hoods look. There's not a ton of uh, like really stuck on grease or adhered grease. A lot of times under the hood you're dealing with a lot more of kind of loose dirt, dust, especially newer vehicles like these. They're really, really tight, really sealed. And so this isn't gonna be a super difficult job. But for those of you who have been detailing engines, there's a lot of debate in the detailing world about using water Water, not using water, using things like a steamer, all those sort of things. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I'm gonna address this, products I'm gonna use, and how I get what I consider amazing results. I am going to be holding the camera in one hand and dressing this with Super Clean on the other, so please forgive the shakiness if that does happen. But guys, Super Clean aerosol can uh, degreaser is really an amazing product. What I'm going to do with this engine is literally dress every part of this engine, not even dress, but clean every part of this engine with the super clean degreaser. I'm going to spray it on every surface, but before I do that, I need to hit under the hood, very literally under the hood, like the underside of the hood, because if I dress all this, clean all of this, but forget this, not only is my customer gonna see that, but if I go to clean it afterwards, all of this dirt is gonna drip on my clean engine. So check out how I do this. I'm going to use my aerosol can degreaser and dress all of the painted surfaces. The only thing that some of you might need to worry about, and it's really not even a worry as much as it is just a cautionary thing and something to know, is that this hood blanket right here, a lot of times in older cars, it's more of a blanket, hence the word. It absorbs water, it kind of holds water almost like a sponge. These newer cars have more of a synthetic material like a, kind of like a cardboard-ish material it's not gonna absorb a ton of water and it's very thin and so I don't have to clean this as much as I need to address the paint though I still will certainly scrub this down a little bit what you have to be careful of this is that it's simply a fragile material and hood blankets are fragile as well it's just something that I kind of compare to like paper mache it's just a very fragile material so I kind of leave it alone so what I'm gonna do is dress all these painted surfaces with my super clean Now one quick note, I am watching my overspray. Of course there's no way to remove overspray altogether, but yes, I am trying to keep all of this on the interior, not getting on the paint. Though it's not gonna hurt anything if it does get on the paint. Once again, I actually need to polish this car, remove overspray, because that's one of the things my customer's paying for in the first place. So then I'm going to take my soft uh, wheel brush and I'm gonna get it a little wet with the hose because I wanna be able to move that degreaser around really well. And the reason I'm using a soft feathered wheel brush is because it's not going to scratch the paint. Now as a rule, the paint on the underside of this engine hood is going to be a little bit more tough rather than uh, what's clear coated on the outside. So I'm not super worried about anything underneath here, but I certainly still wanna be careful and make sure I am treating my customer's car with the highest degree of caution as I can. So this is more of just a risk management thing. But it also works really well as a brush just because it covers a lot of surface area at one time rather than me having to get in like a toothbrush and makeup brushes. It really does work very well. I'm also gonna use some liquid super clean right here because it's gonna allow my degreaser to move around a little bit more than I was just then. And this is not, a, this is not something that should take a ton of time just because it's not a super dirty area. Then I'm going to take my hose, as you would suspect, and I'm gonna spray it down. Now after that I 
am going to take a microfiber and wipe it down just because, number one, I want to remove that overspray water from the outside paint because I do want to make sure that I'm keeping my water spots under control because that is not distilled water. So I'm especially going to make sure I get it off of the windshield because the windshield tends to spot up more than other things. And then I'm going to wipe the under the hood down. Now I'm not being super detailed with this just because it is going to dry on its own and it's not going to like spot up because this is in the shade and it's not really the exact same thing as the exterior paint though it is very close. So I'm just going to quickly wipe it down. Now what am I going to do next? Next I'm simply going to take my same aerosol degreaser and I'm going to dress the entire engine with it. I keep saying dress but really what I mean is just apply and clean the whole engine with it. So I'll hold the camera like this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Once again pardon the shakiness if it does come but it is a little difficult because I'm holding the camera with one hand and the degreaser with the other. One thing I love about the aerosol can is that it's a constant flow. So you guys see how I'm getting in all these cracks and crevices? I'm not being unsafe. I'm just not being super conservative with it necessarily. And that is because I've done a lot of engines in the past seven years. Well, really the past five years since I started doing engines. And engines are so watertight these days that it's not something you need to be overly concerned about. Yes, you need to have some common sense. Yes, you need to be cautious. Do you need to be overly concerned? I would not say that at all. So check out all of that foam. It looks like it just snowed in here. What I love about the foam is that it's almost like, I, I call it hydrogen peroxide a lot. I give that analogy because with hydrogen peroxide, you see the bubbles, you see the infection getting cleaned. And with this, it's much the same thing. You see the dirt, the grease coming off without even touching it. Now what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my soft feathered wheel brush. I'm also going to use my long handled wheel well brush for areas that are a little bit further back. And then I'm also going to use my Speedmaster brush to get down in these areas that I cannot really fit with my hand. Now when you're using the Speedmaster, it is important to be careful. You're not hitting plugs, you're not hitting uh, cords, you're not hitting wires because that obviously would not be a good thing. But that is basically how I'm going to treat this whole thing and how I'm going to brush it. So here we go. Now as I'm doing this, I am being gentle. But at the same time, I'm not like fearful. So I think there's a good balance between, okay, I'm being aggressive enough to, to actually clean it, and then I'm not being aggressive enough to hurt anything. So there's certainly a balance, and you know, there's certainly areas that I'm more careful about. You know, I'm not gonna just jam my brush into every area. But again, I'm looking for products that allow me to do less brushing and at the end of the day spend less effort and also you know risk management if this super clean degreaser aerosol can gets most of this grease without me having to work anything not only am I saving energy but I'm, I'm managing my risks because I'm not having to push a brush in all of these tight spaces and risk, you know, kind of hurting something. So no, I'm not scared. No, you don't really need to be overly scared. You know, if you're working on a really old car, yeah, you definitely should be cautious. But once again, nature of the beast with these kind of engine details on newer cars, it's not a super big deal. So now I'm just going to take my hose hose it all out. No, I'm not going to point my hose in one little, you know, electrical area. Of course not, but I am going to generally get all of this grease, this degreaser off. Now, what do I do that it is degreased and cleaned? Well, I want to make sure that it is 100% perfection. So yes, it's degreased. Yes, it's cleaned, but I want to make sure I'm really getting it as clean as I can. So what I like to do is actually use these pump sprayers because these, it, it's, it's difficult to dress a whole engine because you're using so much degreaser, so much liquid that if you're just using a little, uh, you know, spray bottle, it hurts your forearm. It's a good workout, but it certainly starts to burn. So unless you want gigantic forearms, then you should get one of these pump sprayers. I get it at Lowe's, Home Depot. Of course, I'll hook up Amazon links to all this stuff as well. But basically, it's just a pressurized sprayer and it's gonna allow me to just hold the button down and dress all of this again. This is liquid super clean degreaser. So what I like to do is use both of these in conjunction, use this with the areas that I need to kind of pinpoint and use the aerosol can for just a general degreasing. I think that that's really a winning combination. So now I'm just gonna address the areas they kind of need a little bit more degreasing. I'm gonna hit them with this, and I'm gonna brush them, and I'm gonna hose it down. 
you guys can see I'm using my Speedmaster brush and I'm being a lot more detailed this time. Another thing you can do rather than the Speedmaster brush is if you have a steamer, you could certainly use your steamer, which I do sometimes, to get in these specific areas that you may not be able to get with a bigger, fatter brush. And your steamer is going to shoot that direct, you know, kind of streamed steam to those areas you can't reach as well with your hands. And it's going to allow you to kind of get those areas to perfection, which is what I'm just doing with this brush right now. So definitely more than one way to skin a cat. So now that I've hosed it down for the final time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe up the pools of water. I'm not going to be super detailed. I'm just getting the majority of the water very quickly. Then I'm going to turn the engine on. I want the engine to run for anywhere from five to 10 minutes just to make sure that all this water gets dry. As the engine heats up, that water is going to evaporate. I don't want a bunch of standing water in the engine. So now we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And this is sort of the moment of truth moment. Sometimes when you turn it on, there's a really high pitch squeaking noise. It's not something you need to worry about. It'll go away in like five seconds. So here we go. And there we go. Forgot to turn the windshield wipers off. So once again, in park, emergency brake on, and I just want the engine to run. Nothing too serious. I'm going to let the engine run. I'm going to let you guys kind of see where the engine's at right now. As far as water goes, there is not a lot of water. The sun's shining. The engine's gonna continue to heat up. But once again, I just want you guys to see, detailing with water in an engine, not a big deal. Yes, common sense. But more than anything, the super clean degreaser, when, when it's in the aerosol can, I really like it dressing engines. It makes my job easy, less effort, less risk on my part, and we're getting awesome results. So I'm gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna talk about how to dress the engine to protect it, make it pop for my customer. Okay, everyone, so the engine has been dried. It was run for probably about 10 to 11 minutes, so everything in the interior is dry, even if there's just a couple little puddles you know, on the surface. I know that everything on the interior is safe. It's done, and you guys can see this. It looks really fantastic. Look at all the black trim. You can see these metal pieces on the engine bay. You know, you've got all these places that have been totally degreased, even in these creases. You know, there's nothing, there's no, there's no, not even really dust, which is actually very surprising. So the next step here is to dress the engine, to shine the black trim, to make it pop, but even more so to protect it. So the next time I go to clean it, it's actually much easier. And there's basically two products that I use to dress engines. One is More Shine Tire Shine by Stoner, and the other is Chemical Guys VRP Diluted 5 to 1, which is actually what I'm going to be using in this video. So yes, it's a water-soluble, uh, water-based, tire dressing, interior dressing, all sorts of different kinds of dressing. I dilute it 5 to 1 for things like wheel wells and engine dressing, and really all it looks like is spraying it just like this all over the engine. I'm super liberal with it. I'm not trying to conserve any of it. And once again, pardon the shaking if you can with the camera because I'm doing this one-handed. But I'm just spraying it. I'm dressing all the black trim. I'm making sure that I dress the rubber gaskets. I'm making sure that I dress up here where even people, maybe not even, you know, the average person would look. Now the reason why I'm not being conservative at all and maybe even overcompensating to a point is because it's diluted. So this this uh, shine is not going to be as shiny as your average tire shine. So I'm using a lot. A lot of it's going to run off and drip off and dry. But once it dries, it's going to be very uniform and it's not going to be overly shiny. So here's what it looks like, guys, when it's dressed and protected. Of course, there's some runoff, there's some drip. But once again, as that dries, it's going to dry totally uniform. Chemical Guys VRP really does an incredible incredible job. So it looks very slick right now. It's going to die down a little bit as it dries. Not going to be kind of so overly compensated um, shiny. If this video helped you guys and it added some value to your life, definitely hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below because I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable 
in your businesses. And on this channel, I share the same strategies that turned my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if that interests you, definitely subscribe. And again, for those of you who want to get your hands on any of these products, the brushes, the tools, the pump sprayer, anything I used in this video, I hook up Amazon links to all the products and tools I use in every video in the description box below. So if you use my links to purchase any of that, it gives this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can continue to give out awesome content just like this all the time. So if you'd like to get your hands on any of it, definitely use the links in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching and being so involved here. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I will see you guys in the next video.